Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 1994 Nissan Silvia K's Type S S14. Now this car can only be purchased at the used car dealership on this game. And if you're not familiar with the used car dealer, it rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day. So this car may or may not be available for you to purchase at the time that you watch this video but it will eventually rotate back into being available again in the future. So the car is currently selling for 47,900 credits. Now I'm going to click on the car and we'll go over some of its specs to get started. First, the car has 476.49 performance points stock. It comes with an FR drivetrain, meaning that the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle and the rear wheels drive the car. It comes stock with 216 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. It weighs just under 2,700 pounds and the engine is turbo aspirated. Now we're gonna click on learn more and see what Andy has to say about this car. Among Japanese two-door sports coupes, the Nissan Silvia is one with particularly deep roots. Bowing in 1965, the legendary first-gen model is remembered as an indispensable part of Japanese automotive history. This model here, affectionately known as the S14, dates back to 1993. The direct successor to the S13, it marked the arrival of the sixth-generation car. Compared to its predecessor, it was a bit wider with a longer body and wheelbase. In line with its pedigree, it featured a front-engine rear-wheel drive, or FR, layout. And its sleek and simple proportions gave it a look that makes it instantly recognizable as a Silvia. Contributing to its excellent performance was an evolved undercarriage. This came with reinforced brakes and a stiffer suspension resulted in improved handling. This case Type S grade was the top of the line model. It came with a turbocharged four cylinder engine and rear spoiler. So that's everything we can learn about this car from the used car dealer. So we're gonna back out to the main menu now and I'm gonna go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. All right, here at the garage, I'm gonna click on change car and we're gonna scroll down to N for Nissan. And here we are. Now we just have to find the S14. And let me see. There we go. Okay. I'm going to click on this car and we'll listen to the startup sound and then we'll learn some more about it. All right, we're going to click on car collection here, go to this vehicle, and we'll learn some more by reading a short description about it. The sixth generation Silvia emphasized heightened luxury in a wide body format. The S14 Silvia made its debut in October of 1993 as the successor to the hugely successful S13 model, and with a new larger body, Nissan hoped to continue on the car's previous success. The S14 sat 68.1 inches wide compared to the S13's 1690, I think they screwed up there, <laughs> and the track was also enlarged. The new car stretched 1.2 inches longer at 177.2 inches and 0.2 inches taller at 51 inches than the outgoing model. The softer lines of the body really enhance the wider nature of the car's body. The K trim level came with 16-inch wheels as standard, further adding to its visual flair. Under the hood was a retuned version of the S13's SR20 engine. The K model came with an intercooled turbocharger that helped pump out 14.8 horsepower more than the previous generation at 216 horsepower and 202.5 foot-pound of torque. The naturally aspirated Q and J trim levels produced 157.8 horsepower at 138.9 foot-pound of torque. The basic suspension geometry was carried over from the S13, featuring front struts and a multi-link system at rear. 
The car was also available with Super HICAS electronic rear wheel steering. The S14 placed an extra focus on luxury to increase its appeal as an FR coupe. But when Japan's financial bubble burst in 1991, the coupe market shrank and the car lost its appeal. To revitalize the model, Nissan released a facelift model in 1996 with an extensive redesign. The exterior's soft image was tightened up with scowling headlights and a large rear spoiler for a sharper and more striking appearance. The S14 Silvia was sold in North America as the 240SX and in Europe as the 200SX. So a lot of great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. Now we're going to back out to the main menu once again, and we're going to make a stop at the cafe where we'll see if anybody is here to talk to us about this particular car. And there's no one here for this one. If there was, they'd be next to this trophies icon. But not to worry, we're going to make one last stop at the tuning shop, and I'll show you everything that you can do to improve this car's performance and power. <clears throat> So here at the tuning shop, you can see that I have done some extensive work on this uh, Sylvia K's Type S, uh, and I got the performance points all the way up to 671. But I will still show you everything that can be done to it at the tuning shop. So under the sports category, everything here is available for purchase. Under club sports, with the exception of high compression pistons, everything else is available and can be added to this car. Under semi-racing, with the exception of a supercharger, everything else on this page is fair game. And under the racing section, with the exception of the supercharger, the torque vectoring center differential, the fourth stage of weight reduction, and the active LSD controller, everything else on this page is available for purchase and can be added to this Nissan. So a lot that you can do to this car to improve its performance and power. That's everything we can learn about this car on Gran Turismo 7, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.